We're Lloyd and Mandy. We're digital nomads currently traveling the world in search of somewhere we can call home. We just spent the last week in Oaxaca City, Mexico, and today we're heading off to the small mountain town of San Jose del Pacifico, most popularly known as the magic mushroom capital of Mexico. All right, we're just at the bus depot at the moment. We've had a pretty eventful morning so far. Our bank in Australia is completely shut down doing some maintenance for the night. So we have no access to our money, which is a bit stressful. We only have a bit of cash on us. So that just added a bit more anxiety to the day. We're just about to get on something called a vomit van to take us to um, San Jose. Not very excited about taking a vomit van. I think we are the bus. When's it leaving? I think now. Okay. <laughs> how much were the tickets? 150 each. Okay. So how much money does that leave us with? <laughs> Maybe 3,000. Maybe like 1,800. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> so you don't have to pre-buy your tickets or anything, you just show up and tell them. I think this bus, it goes a lot further than San Jose, so it leaves like every half an hour and then um, I need to show up and buy a ticket. Pretty easy. Hopefully we're going there. So the bus goes to Pachuca. Pachuca. Which is like another big town, city. So that's why it leaves every half an hour. Things made me tired. Same. Like sleeping pills? Yeah. We each took gravel before the ride. I didn't get sick at all. Um, I don't know if that helped, but it made me really tired. I was just sleeping the whole time, man. Eh? Yeah. We got welcomed by a dog as soon as we got here. We're just trying to figure out where we're staying. <laughs> I haven't been in this tuk tuk in a while. It's a nice one, eh? So nice. How many contos? 15 per person.
feels so fresh out here. It's so nice. Oh, I already feel peaceful. Alright, we just arrived at our accommodation here in San Jose del Pacifico. It's very beautiful up here. Already feels very peaceful. Uh, the weather is a bit chillier even than um, Oaxaca City where we just were. They've left firewood here for us in this cabin. It's so beautiful. Uh, this is one of the newer cabins where we're staying. They have plenty of different ones to choose from. Apparently this was the best place in town to stay um, and we can see why it's pretty special up here. Alright, well now that we're here uh, we're gonna try and find some mushrooms. I know of a place in town that you can go to get mushroom tea. I'm gonna try and figure out somewhere around here we can get them. I'm not really sure how to do it. This is probably the perfect location to do it. <laughs> There's no one around here. Yeah. It's really nice. Really private, really peaceful. I think we're gonna be able to sleep really well here. <laughs>
Uh, so this dog was just on the street and we realized it was the one that was way back at our accommodation. And he was just wandering on the street. We said hi to him and he came up to the restaurant to say hi to see us. vibe of this place feels like somewhere you would come to heal and I think a lot of healing is done here. It's just really peaceful here, very quiet and the weather is just really comforting. It's very mild. It actually reminds me of where I grew up so it's sort of like a feeling of coming home. Yeah, even though uh, it is a tourist place and a lot of people come here for the mushrooms and everything, just walking around town and going to like all the restaurants it didn't feel like a really the tourist destination like it felt like there was a lot more locals around and it felt really welcoming the restaurants are really affordable as well and accommodation is pretty affordable here too so I don't know it doesn't feel like a typical tourist destination in Mexico one of the biggest pieces of advice that we can give for coming here is to bring cash with you is an issue that we saw so many people having here it's because there's no ATMs uh, there's a few restaurants that do take credit card, but they'll put a 10% charge on top of your bill in order to take credit. So having cash will save you money and a lot of places do not take debit or credit and you won't be able to get more cash out. Also for the bus, you have to pay cash too. So make sure you have enough cash to cover yourself while you're here and to get the bus out. Yeah, we're going to carry our suitcases all the way to the office. Door open. Does that matter? Yeah. Left the bloody door open. 